combination plug patches can be used to repair crown injuries up to 6 mm using the appropriate chemicals and equipment, all available from Autogem. Our plug patches ensure you are able to perform a tire repair that conforms to British standards. Remove the tire from the rim and inspect it thoroughly, both internally and externally. Look for any conditions that would prevent a safe repair in accordance with your local standards and legislation. Such issues include irreparable damage to the tire or the structure of the tire and existing repairs too close to the new injury or tread where beyond the legal limit. Mark the injury on the outside and inside of the tire using a marking crayon. Remove the object which caused the injury using a suitable tool. Using a tire probe, check for belt separation. This can also be used to identify the angle of penetration. Combi plug patch repairs are limited to a maximum angle of 25 degrees from the perpendicular, and the injury must be within the repairable tread area, which varies with the nominal section width of the tire. You can use the cutout guides supplied inside the plug patch box to aid the identification of the angle of penetration and also the repairable area. Apply plenty of buffing solution to the tire within the marked area. While still damp, remove any contaminants from the surface with a scraping tool. This process should be repeated two to three times. From the inside of the tire, Use a 6mm rotary mill cutter on a low-speed drill and drill three or four times following the angle of injury. Repeat this process from the outside of the tire. On the inside of the tire, center the plug patch over the injury and mark a line around the edge of the patch, approximately 10 millimeters larger than its perimeter using the marking crayon. Use a buffing tool at a maximum speed no greater than 5,000 RPM to buff the area removing vent ribs and any other uneven textures You may use any of our many buffing tool attachments for this process. Golf ball stones and flat wheels are most popular. The buffing process is completed when the area is left with a smooth and velvety-like texture. Brush away any rubber dust and metal filings using a soft wire brush. Ensure that the inside of the tire is completely free of any contaminants and buffing dust. A vacuum can be used to do this. Once clean, apply vulcanizing cement to a spiral cement tool or pro and work the tool through the injury channel from the inside of the tire. Repeat this process two to three times to ensure the channel is well coated. Apply a thin coat of vulcanizing cement to the previously buffed area of the inner liner and allow to dry for about 3 to 5 minutes. Do not use fingertips to test for dryness as the natural oils may contaminate the cement and affect the performance of the vulcanization. Do not try to accelerate the drying process using hairdryers or any other artificial means. Autogem Combi plug patches include a protective backing to prevent the adhesive gum from being contaminated during storage and use. Remove the backing from the plug patch, taking extra care to avoid touching the bonding gum found on the inside of the patch and the rubber stem as any contamination of the gum could cause the repair to fail. Holding the plug patch carefully, apply a very small amount of vulcanizing cement to the lead wire end of the repair unit and insert the plug patch into the injury channel from the inside of the tire. Pull the stem through the tire using pliers until the rubber stem appears through the injury.
Using the pliers, pull the rubber stem until the head of the plug patch seats firmly against the inside of the tire. The center of the repair unit should dimple as you pull it firmly into place. Using a roller stitcher, ensure the plug patch is firmly stitched to the inner liner, rolling from the center of the repair to the edges, removing any air that may be underneath the plug patch. Remove any remaining polythene from the outside of the plug patch. The protruding stem needs to be cut off, flush with the tread if it passes through a tread groove or approximately 3 mm above the tread surface if it passes through a tread lug. The excess stem should not be pulled tight or stretched whilst being cut. Seal the edges of the plug patch and any remaining buffed area of tire with a coating of inner liner sealant. The tire is now repaired to a professional level and can be remounted to the wheel and inflated to the recommended pressure.